Remember we looked at 24 and we saw that the prime factors were two and three. So it was two times two times two times three made 24. And the prime factors of 30, it was two and three and five. So two times three times five made 30. What we're going to look at today though, is much bigger numbers, okay? And I'm going to show you a way of doing it nice and easily. So, we start with the number that we're dealing with in the middle at the top of our page. So let's decide on, say, 100 today. Okay, we're gonna do 100. Now, I don't actually know, I probably, if I thought about it, and it would take me a while though, I could write all the factors of 100 down, but it would take quite a long time. So this way is much easier. Now, also the prime factors, you find those out using this. So what we do, we use what's called a factor tree. Now it's called a tree because it has branches, okay? And each one, the branches go in this direction and the branches go in this direction. So we always start though with two branches. So write down your two branches. Now what we've got to find, and this is where it can get a little bit tricky because your answer might be slightly different to mine. It doesn't actually matter, we'll end up with the same answer, but we might get there in a different direction. So you've got to think of a multiplication sum, not addition, multiplication sum, that when you multiply the two numbers together, the answer is 100. So who can think of one? Chase? 50 times 2. 50 times 2, that's right. So we've got 50 times 2. Now the other thing that I'm actually going to do, I'm going to list the prime numbers here as well, just so that we can remember what the prime numbers are. So the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, not 9 obviously because it divides by 3, 11, 17 and 19. Now it's very, very rare that you'll have to use one bigger than that, but we'll, so we won't worry about them any bigger than 19 at the moment. So they're your prime numbers. So, when you get to the end of a branch, and it is a prime number, you use a different colour and you circle it like that. Okay. Now then, that means that that branch is finished because we've circled the prime number. Yes, Marlo? Okay. Now, we, I need another multiplication sum the answer for which is 50. 25 times two. Well done, 25 times two. So we do two branches again, 25 times two. Now two is a prime, isn't it? So we circle it, so that branch is finished. A multiplication sum, the answer for which is 25. Five times five. Five times five, well done. So we've got five times five, and then we look on our list, and five is a prime number, so we circle it as well. Okay. Now, all the branches are finished. So basically, you keep going until you get to a prime number. So keep going until you get to a prime. So what we write now is we write the product of the prime factors of 100 equals, and it's 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now, if you put 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 into your calculator, what do you think the answer would be, Emma? 100. 100, absolutely, it has to be, because we've broken it down, haven't we? So those numbers have to multiply together to make 100. Now, Let's think about what we learned about index notation. This is expanded notation, do you remember, where it, we write them all out in a long list? Who could tell me how I would write that in index notation? Ashi? Um, two to the power of two to the power of two. Well done. <coughs> two to the power of two, or two squared, multiplied by five squared. Now, in a test, this would be worth three marks. You'd get one mark for your factor tree, you'd get one mark for your expanded notation, and you'd get one mark for your index notation, okay? Now, your factor tree might be different to someone else's, 
but the ends of the branches should all be the same. Okay, so let's have a go at another one. Let's do, um, let's have 250. So start at the top with 250. Okay. So two branches. Who can give me a multiplication sum, the answer for which is 250? Cassidy. 10 times 25. Good girl, 10 times 25. 10 times 25. Now, are either of those branches finished? Why not? Mackenzie? Because they are... Yeah, so what's, what's not prime? Com composite. composite, well done. They're composite, aren't they? So what we have to do, when you've got two composite numbers, you have to give each one a branch. So that one will have two branches, and that one will have two branches as well. Okay, so give me a number then, two numbers that multiply together to make 10. Molly? Two times five. Good girl, two times five. Now, are those branches finished? Yes, because they're prime, aren't they? And two numbers that make 25 when you multiply them. Tell them. Five and five. Five and five, that's right. Five and five, and they're both primes as well. So, what is the product of the prime factors of 250? Alex? Two times five times five times five. Well done. Two times five times five times five. Who'd like to tell me how I would write that in index notation? Go on then, Alex, you do it as well for me. Two times five cubed. Brilliant. Two times five cubed. Very good. Okay, so there's your three <coughs> marks. Factor tree, expanded notation, and index notation. Okay, let's do one more. Are you all with me? Can you show me thumbs up if you're with me? Excellent. Good. Righty ho, let me think. Um, okay, 480, let's make it a bit more difficult. 480. Okay, so there might be quite a lot of different answers to this first question, but what two numbers multiply together to make 480? Mackenzie? 240 times 2. Okay, 240 times 2. 2 times 240, okay? 2 is a prime, so we can circle it. What other ones might there have been? Alex? Um, what could other numbers appear? 120 times 4. Very good, 120 times 4. 60 times 80. 60 times 8, yeah. 60 times 80 would be 4,800, okay? 10 times 48. 10 times 48, that was the one that I had in my head, actually, yeah. But it doesn't matter if your answer is different to mine, as long as you go to the end of the branches, it's fine. Okay, we're at 240, so two branches. What will my poppy? 120. Good girl, 120 times two. Okay, so there's your prime as well. Now we've got to do 120 with two branches. Cassidy? 60 times two. 60 times two, it's a good idea to keep doing times two, times two, times two, until you can't do it anymore. Okay, 60, who can break up 60 for me? Marlo? 30 times two. 30 times two. Okay, 30. Six times five. Six times five, okay, right. So I'm gonna put the five there and the six here, actually, so that, yeah. I'm running out of a little bit of space, actually. Okay, and six. Times three times two. Three times two. So I'm going to do it that way, I'm afraid, because I've run out of space. <laughs> but it's still they're still the primes, so it doesn't matter. They're still circled. You can do yours going downwards. I've just had to kind of turn a corner. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at this now. Then now they're not necessarily in the same order. We do. It wouldn't really matter if you put two times three times two times five or whatever. But the convention is, is that you do them in ascending order. So look for all the twos first. Alex, you're really good at this. Come on, then. Two times, two times, two times, two times. Hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two times two times two times two times two. Times three. Yeah. Times five. Brilliant. Okay. Times five. I think, let's have a look. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, oh, yeah. five. Okay? Oh, can I go to what if you're not sure if there are a lot of them like that it's not a bad idea to tick them off as you write them down because it's easy to make a mistake and write five when there's six or write six when there's five it's easy to make that mistake so who can do it in index notation for me bryce um two to the power of five times three times five brilliant two to the power of five times three times five okay can we stop